Good morning. Welcome to the first 15. My name is Pastor Tim. Uh, if you've been watching these videos and following along, you'll notice that the background uh, of this video has changed. I have relocated um, with the change of the color for the county. My kids are learning from home today, and uh, that means that I am working from home today. But I did not want to miss an opportunity to spend a few minutes with you and start our day praying together. So, Let's just jump right in. I've got an amazing passage that I want to share with us to start our prayer time today. It's in Ephesians 2, uh, verse 13. Paul writes, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. And so here Paul hits us with a powerful truth that we have been brought close, that God has brought us near. He's hugged us in. Um, you think about it, he didn't have to do any of that. He didn't have to send Jesus to save us at all. And even if he had, he could have just sent Jesus to point us in the direction that we were supposed to go and then left us to figure it out. He could have maybe saved us and then just freed us from sin and sent us on our way, but he didn't do that either. It says that when he redeemed us and he saved us, he brought us near. He brought us close. That should bring us some great encouragement. You know, it's been a tough year. Uh, on everyone. We've all experienced a lot of, of, uh, of hardship. We've all experienced some difficult things. Um, many of you know I lost my father recently, um, and, and it was one of these moments where you know, I lost my dad, and it was really, really sad for me, and then we had to go tell the kids. You know, It's one of those uh, things that you don't ever look forward to doing, so we had to set our kids down and tell them about their grandfather, and, and I just remember that uh, when we told the girls, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of tears and a lot of sorrow, and I just remember taking one of my daughters and just pulling her into me and just holding on to her, and as she cried, just kind of holding her, and you know, it was, it was a it was a really sorrow filled moment, and it was really tough, but there was a an intimacy, there was a closeness, there was a a, a bonding that happened in that moment when my daughter knew that I would hold on to her, that everything was going to be okay, that that I had her. This is what God did through Jesus for us. He saved us from our sins. He saved us from hell. He brought us out of that. And then, instead of just like freeing us and letting us just go figure it out on our own, He brought us close. He holds us close. So this morning, let's begin by giving some praise and some worship to God for bringing us close to Him. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for sending Jesus to rescue me. I praise you for your great love for me. You are a wonderful Father. Thank you for bringing me in close to you. Now, as we move on in prayer, we have been working through the Discipleship in a Box a prayer guide, the Great Commission prayer guide that's in there. Uh, it's all about you know, chosen and that we were chosen and that we were chosen to uh, be saved by God, and then we were chosen to be as ambassadors, to reach others, to tell the world. And so there's a set of prayers in there, and the prayer for this week uh, comes out of John 1, verse 12. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. That's amazing that we became children of God. It's back to what we were talking about out of Ephesians. God brought us close. He wanted to be uh, relationally close to us, proximate to us. And so he has made us his children, and this is the desire that he has for everyone. So the one that you've been praying for, the person uh, that you've been uh, praying that they would come to know Jesus, that God wants them to be close to him, and he wants to make them his children. Uh, he wants to make them uh, his child. So there's a prayer in there I'd like to lead you through. It's got a few blanks in it, and you just fill in the blanks with the first name of the person that you're praying for, the, the one person that you know doesn't know Jesus yet. And we're just going to pray for them now. We're going to ask God uh, to do something amazing in their life. Let's pray. Lord, it is such a blessing to be your child. I want blank to know how good you are. Show them how good you can be. Use me to express and explain that you are a good father and a loving God. Allow me the chance to tell them about you. And then finally, as we move uh, through this time in, in November, while we're working through this, this prayer guide, and we're praying for someone around us to, to come to know the Lord, it really comes down to a lot of trust that we have with God. If you think about it, um, 
these people, we love them, and at least I, I do, and I want them so bad to have a relationship with Jesus. I want them to be a part of his family. And there's sometimes this pressure that I feel to say all the right things or to get it just right. But I feel like I really need to remind myself, and, and maybe this will help you, to just depend on God and to rely on Him. Proverbs 3, uh, verses 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. So as we pray for those around us who don't have a relationship with Jesus yet, we want to trust God. We want to trust God. Um, with their salvation. We want to trust God with the direction for our life. We want to trust God for the words that we need to say. We want to trust God for the opportunities uh, that we need to take. And we need to trust God to do the work that only He can do. And so let's just go to Him and let's just surrender today to Him and let's give Him our full lives and allow Him to use us in any way that He chooses today. All right, let's pray. Lord, I trust you today. I trust you with my life and with my request today. Allow my life to show your glory. I depend on you today. Make my paths straight. I love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope that this has been a great way to start your day and been an encouragement to you. God bless you guys, and I will see you next time.